Hello, and welcome to Lifetime in Court, the show where we break down your favorite made-for-TV movies one bottle at a time. I am your host, Patrick Serrano, and today we are talking about Secrets in a Small Town. This movie is from 2019, but it's so good we had to talk about it. The movie stars Kate Drummond, Sarah Porter, Raya Kilstead, and Al Nukadum. On the show, we either pour it up or put a cork in it. What are we going to do to seek? What is this movie called? So, what are we going to do to... Oh my god, why do I keep forgetting? What are we going to do to Secrets in a Small Town? Pour it up! Oh my god, too much. If you haven't seen the movie and you want to avoid spoilers, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the pause button. Come on back. I'm going to do a quick recap starting now. The movie begins with a recently widowed woman named Claire and her teenage daughter, Sarah, moving from Chicago to a small town, hence the Secrets in a Small Town title. Claire will be the new vice principal at the school, and Sarah is going to join the basketball team. Cue a hip, hippity-hop basketball montage. Mother and daughter are close and watch a magician's video on YouTube. It comes back, I promise. He has no idea what's going on. That's how you know it's totally real. It's totally a trick. No, he's gonna do it. <gasps> no, no, no. Sarah, it was a trick. It was a trick. This is what I was born to do. No, it was a trick. <laughs> Coach Ruth runs a tight ship and accepts Sarah on the team. Sarah's teammates invite her to a team bonding event. Helicopter mom Claire is worried about her daughter, but eventually agrees to let her go. I can drive you. That would literally be the worst. Well, I want you home by 11. You're being a total helicopter mom. A what? A helicopter mom. You're always hovering around me. The next morning, when Sarah is nowhere to be found, Claire questions everyone in town. It's a small town after all, so it doesn't take that long. A hot cop eventually helps Claire, and they question the girls on the basketball team. The girls on the basketball team all have the same story, even down to the timestamps. Time it was? I think it was around 10.45. 10.45? 10.45, I want to say. 10.45 p.m. It was 10.45. You sure? Positive. The parents in the town are outraged and stop the line of questioning. Even Coach Ruth is there because her daughter, Kat, is also on the team. Claire continues to search for her daughter, and the town is not supportive. The hot cop organizes a search through the woods. Coach Ruth and Kat find Sarah dehydrated and at death's door in a shed. Instead of helping her, Coach Ruth locks her in and sends the search party in the opposite direction. Then they send Sarah's cell phone down the river in a canoe. Coach Ruth is covering for her daughter, who thought she killed Sarah in a hazing ritual gone wrong. A strange musical number happens where Claire and Sarah sing. Claire discovers that the basketball team has had hazing incidents in the past. Claire looks online and finds videos of the team hazing her daughter while Coach Ruth watches on. Caving under the pressure, Kat visits Claire and admits to everything. Then, she finally tells Claire that Sarah is alive and in the shed. Coach Ruth learns what her daughter has done and slaps her across the face. Then she grabs a shovel, throws it in her pickup truck, and heads out to fix her daughter's mistakes yet again. In the woods, Claire and the hot cop find the shack via helicopter. Ruth shows up with a gun and almost kills Claire. Sarah saves the day by whispering abracadabra to her mother, which triggers the memory of the YouTube video about the magician that I promised would come back, and she pulls the tarp out from under Coach Ruth, sending her flying headfirst into a rock and killing her. Kat and her teammates are arrested, and Claire is officially the ultimate helicopter mom, whisking her daughter away to safety. Well, I am a helicopter mom. And that is Secrets in a Small Town. What's so great about this movie is that it features one of Lifetime's most covered topics, mother-daughter relationships, a mother saving her daughter. It could be played out. It really could be. But in this movie, it wasn't. Claire and Sarah were believable mother-daughter characters. They had a good rapport. They seemed genuine. And you could really feel the love. Also, Hot Cop was so hot, I couldn't stand it. And he was actually there not gaslighting Claire. He was listening to her, helping her doing what police should do. Also, Coach Ruth as your classic bad guy. Very, very good bad guy. It wasn't an act of revenge. 
her motives were also to help her daughter, to clear her daughter's name. Another really believable mother-daughter relationship. These are hard to find in Lifetime movies, especially with the emotional stakes that this movie had. Really good. A lot of people were, are wondering about what the real-life circumstances are or the inspired from true events. I could not find anything. I found a Bustle article that I'll link to in the comments, but there's not much out there as to what this movie is based on. I also really enjoyed the small town environment and how that played into the whole aspect of the movie. Just really well thought out. Props to the writer and director, Thomas Michael and Paolo Manchetti. Am I saying that right? I'm sorry, Paolo. And now it is time for the Minority Report, the segment where we talk about representation in TV movies and why it matters. Even though this movie was based in a small town, we still had a way to get in some POCs in this town. If this was a Hallmark small town, forget about it. Hot Cop, also known as Rick, Maddie, played by Camilla Cavill, and she's listed on IMDb, so I'm going to say her, Andrea Sr., who played a team player, team player number one. Okay, and I think that wraps up this episode. If you're like Britney Spears and you're like, give me more, you can listen to our podcast, Lifetime Uncorked, or check out our blog, lifetimeuncorked.com. We watch these movies so you don't have to, but if you do, we'd love to hear from you. You can follow me at Patrick Mikal or the show at Lifetime on Court. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Leave a comment below with the movie that you'd like us to see or share your thoughts on the movie. I'd love to hear them. I think that's it. Okay, bye!